Good morning Leela, today we will have a busy day, have a strong breakfast. While Leela and Jessica were having breakfast, Drake was in his room drawing a nice drawing of the fox the other day. Good morning Drake, you are not having breakfast, you are the first to sit at the table. Good morning Dad, I was drawing the fox the other day, I didn't want it to be forgotten, now lo. Very well champion, whenever you want. Joseph went down to the kitchen and made himself a cup of coffee, and sat at the table accompanying Jessica and Leela, who had almost finished. Where is Drake? Still sleeps? No honey, I was drawing the fox the other day, and the truth is that it was looking very good, I am surprised, I did not know that he liked animals and less to draw. It's a box of surprises, really. Leela, what plans do you have for today? apart from cleaning the attic, of course. Well, I don't know the truth, I had thought about surfing the internet a little and watching a video on YouTube, if it doesn't bother you. Of course it doesn't bother me, but you don't think you should do something yourself, you spend more time watching what others do, than being yourself. Well, I hadn't thought about it. What does a 16-year-old girl do? That he has no friend or friend. Man, thinking that nothing, but you don't think it would be a good idea to call your old classmates, you still have their numbers from last year, they may want to keep some. Well thought out, I may do it tomorrow, today I just want to be at home and prepare everything for school. Drake soon arrived with his drawing, pasted it on the refrigerator door and sat at the table. To have breakfast. And then to play with the cars. Of that nothing young. You do not remember, today it is time to clean and order the attic, you may even find mysterious things. Mysterious things, Drake said with his mouth full. First chew, and then Drake speaks. Look I've told you Josh, don't put weird ideas on him, then there's no one to get them out of his head. Quiet sweetheart, surely in the attic there is everything, I think we do not clean it since we moved, look what there may be. The attic a dark place in all houses, that no one remembers, except when you have to do cleaning, or keep some useless junk. Well, here we are, in the attic, you remember Leela, you remember when you were afraid to go up to it, then you went up and played as if it were a mysterious cave. Layla's cave, you told her, what memories? I don't remember that, but yes, it sounds to me, Layla's cave, what a grace. And me? I have no memories. Drake asked, with an angry face. You? I think not, since you were born, very rarely have we climbed the attic, and I don't know, let me think, I think you alone, you have never climbed. Well guys leave it, we have not gone up to remember ancient times, we are here to find things that help us for your return to school, remember right? Sorry honey, the same thing always happens to me. But yes, you are right and I think I know where a large box with school supplies can be. Well guys, let's look. At first everything is chaos, you only find empty things, boxes with forgotten clothes, toys abandoned by Leela or Drake, and many useless junk, which little by little accumulate without knowing very well where to put them or throw them away. But Jessica was luckier, or not, she found a very old box that reminded her a lot of her childhood. My mother, I did not remember this box, to see what is inside. Jessica was amazed to see the inside of the box, pendants, letters, and a figurine, it is what there was, although the only thing that made her feel uncomfortable was a letter. Mom? What is that? I'll tell you if you don't tell your father, okay? It's worth it. It's a letter from my first boyfriend, who of course, wasn't your father. Wing. I didn't know that, and who was it? The truth is that you will be surprised a lot, I did not remember her, for years, my dear Laura. She? Laura? Was she a girl? Yes, she was a classmate and the most beautiful, almost all the boys were behind her, but in the end, in an end of year dance, she chose me, and from that moment, well, we were dating until one day she disappeared without more, and of course, 
I have not known about her in years. What a beautiful story mom, I hope that one day I will also have a special friend. You will have it for sure, although if you want advice, do not be in a hurry and now we go with your father, who seems to have already found the happy box, I have a desire to leave this attic. I knew, here it is, look at Drake, paintings, pens, notebooks, folios, here is everything, and besides, it seems that it is new, and it will surely be a few years old. You see son, it's always good to keep things. There were about four boxes full of school supplies, which within a few minutes were already in the classroom and little by little things were being distributed, between Leela and Drake. Well, I think that's all for you, after so long it's all separated, all this is for Leela, and the rest for Drake, now there is only one more thing left, that you take good care of everything. Yes dad, and thank you for all this. Nothing happens Leela, as long as it is used well, nothing happens, and tell me, you have already thought about the cave of Leela, if you want I can help you, a nice book could come out. Yes, I'll think about it. I'll start thinking about his story tomorrow, and yes, I'm sure a very good story comes out. Mom, you help me get this up to the room, I just can't. Drake said downcast. Jessica helped Drake get all the things up to his room and the moment he left, Jess noticed that Drake was sitting in the chair without saying anything and something thoughtful. Drake? Nothing happens, you will already have stories and thousands of adventures. I know mom. But, there are times when I have some envy of Leela, she is already older and I want to live the same things. That is impossible Drake, Leela has lived his adventures and you, you have to live yours and do not be in a hurry, in the end, things happen without looking for them, you will see. Jessica left Drake alone with her thoughts and went down to the kitchen, she couldn't stop thinking about Laura's letter, and on the one hand she understood Drake. After a few minutes of Jessica coming downstairs, Leela walked into the room. Take, Drake. This is for you. Wing, how cool, where you got it. Mom gave it to me when we were in the attic, I want you to have it. It is a pendant of a bird, it represents the great goals that Mom had when she was a child, it did not matter what goal she set, which in the end, would end up arriving. I like it very much, thank you. I'm glad little brother, and remember, you and I don't need to live the same thing, as long as we're together. Leela gave Drake a hug and went straight to his room while Drake wiped his tears quickly so no one could see him cry. None of them knew, but Joseph and Jessica had been leaning on the wall all along listening to the whole scene. You know what? That we have children who do not deserve it. They are incredible, I hope they are also like that when they grow up. They will be, have no doubt, Drake wants to grow faster than usual and it is logical that he looks at Leela. Yes completely true, although you know one thing. What? asked Jessica with some amazement. I think they are growing too fast. Ha, 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 you're absolutely right, and you know that, you and I will be there when you need us. To be continued.